But what is up, guys? Manish Cap one here playing jungle singe. You definitely did not see me just get first blooded, uh, putting a ward down in their jungle. That would that would have been bad. But uh, I'm gonna be trying out. A, my team is saying 15. I'm not saying 15. I'm going to be trying out a jungle singed. Uh, I guess not like a, you, you don't need to play jungle singed with this build, so I really shouldn't call it a jungle singed build, but it's going to be um, a bit of a meme drain tank. I'm not sure if it's a meme or not build that's been going around, but the idea is we are going to do uh, Leandries or Riftmaker, depending on if they have a tank or no tank. Uh, this game, they have some a lot of melees and tanky champions, so we're actually going to go Leandries first. Then we're going to do Unending Despair, item number two. And the idea with Unending Despair, I'm going to give me a heavy leash, I'm not going to smite this. The idea with Unending Despair, item number two, is that every seven seconds that item, it's going to give you healing and a burst of damage in an area around you. I'll show you guys the actual item stat block here in a second, so we can actually find it while I'm, like, while I'm jungling here. Uh, super lazy jungling, but here we go. Unending Despair is 400 health, 55 armor, and 10 ability haste. Uh, and the effect that it gives you, that damage, area of effect damage, does scale off of your uh, health. So, Leandris gives health. Then we go Unending Despair for more health, which scales off of itself. Then we're going to go Riftmaker afterwards, which we are going to be skipping early because we don't have... We need Leanders, I guess, on Singe, really. On the traditional, like, I guess I shouldn't say traditional, this is a new build. On the, what people are calling standard version of this build, which you can apparently play on any champion that goes, um, that goes Riftmaker or Leandries. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed to go Rod of Ages Rush. So technically any champion that goes Roa can take this build, but you go Rod of Ages Rush. And then the idea is that that gives you a bunch of HP and mana and everything. Um... To just make you like a giant stat ball, basically. See me here. Be, be careful. I do have smite, but I am definitely in danger right now. Depending on where Talon is. If they're not, if they don't know, then they would just assume that I had cleared top starting, but they don't know. So, yeah, the idea is Roa gives you just an absolute whack ton of HP. Uh, and it's also a 2.6k gold now, so it's a little bit cheaper. But you buy that, get a bunch of HP. That stacks with your running despair. And then you go Ryla or sorry, Riftmaker and Leandries. Uh, so he knows I'm here. But his ward is down there. So maybe he is killable? I'm not entirely sure. Probably not. I'm gonna go for Crab here. The Talon was nearby, so I have to be careful of him as well, but yeah, it's a drain tank build. It heals you every seven seconds. With Ingenious, you have to have Ingenious Hunter with this build. Conquer, I don't know if it's as necessary, but you have to have Ingenious Hunter. Because Ingenious Hunter fully stacked lowers the cooldown of that item. Um, from seven seconds down to 4.8. So I think we can go for this guy when his ghost wears off. Something my Garen doesn't walk up and get hit, but that's fine. And we get him very nice. That guy has no flat, or sorry, no TP, so Garen should be good to just push that wave in. Hell on his bottom, I'm gonna look for his camps up here, see what I can find. Please have something up here at least. Yes, Crux are up, let's go. I wanna try and stay away from the lane so I can't see me taking these. Oh, don't reset, please. Nice. Yeah, it's a bunch of like, it's a bunch of small heals adding up. Rod of Ages, which I'm gonna skip here, would give a bunch of healing. I might not skip it, actually. I'm not sure. Hmm. I shouldn't have smited. I could have stolen a Krug here. Or a, a Grub here. I'm very tempted to just... To just slam the Roa anyways. And just try it out. The reason why I have not been going Roa on Singe in Season 14 when I was doing it in Season... Um, in Season 13 was because we just have a lot of item choices now. So I just haven't seen as or needed a, that as much, I think, as we used to because we have actual like other items now that do a lot for us. Oh, yeah, I can't do much for you there, buddy. Normally in jungle I would be going, um so Talon. They have full mid prize, I can't really do much about this guy forcing this. They have top prio as well. Darius is walking down. I'm just gonna Walk it this way and see it, see what they do. Trying to peel them off of it. Okay, we'll reset as well. Maybe give them a hard time over there. 
I'm gonna reverse clear towards my bot. I don't want to. I also also kind of wanted to save my um, smite, but the Darius has Pryo on my Garen, and that makes this difficult. I can test my grubbies, my beautiful grubbies. Walk over here on level five. My beautiful grubbies, I'm coming. Get her. She should die there. Nice. Not sucked here. Talon can die, maybe? Talon did not die. That's okay. We just take this grub. Hopefully. Got this guy's recall. Fuck you. <laughs> Gotta be a little goblin when you play Singed. Gotta be a little menace. This is Ward. Okay, I'm gonna recall and reset. I'm gonna clear bot towards top. I can't really gank bottom without Predator. I didn't go Predator. This came out of Conquerors to show off the, the build, but normally in general I would go Predator here. Alright, so do I go Roar or not? I'm not gonna do it. I'm not gonna do it. I wanna get my Unending Despair item too, instead of item 3. Plus I just don't think that Singe needs the Roa, so here's my variant on the, uh, the Drain Tank. The Drain Tank Sleeper build that's been going around. So they got two grubbies, I got one. I'm shocked that Talon lived there, by the way. That's a little saddening. But that's okay. Actually out farming this guy apparently, but he hasn't showed on the map in a while too either. Okay, he's bottom to farm. He's actually the same farm as me. JK. I'm not out farming him. I don't want to gank until I have six. I'm tempted to gank bot, but... Problem is, I'm pretty sure I'm walking on wards and Talon's nearby, so... That makes this hard. Like, if we go for this, I'm gonna lose camps, right? Walking around. Oh, no, Talon's here. JK, I must leave. This is a, this is a bad use of my time. I gotta go clear, boys. I gotta go jungle. Talon in mid. At least I'm scouting him out. Why do I feel like the jungle clear is like significantly easier this season for whatever reason? I think I can kill her. I have red buff. She's really fast though, never mind. I think I did kill her, actually. Oh, Syndra, my hero. Okay, we go ults for ults, no worries. My hero, Syndra. I want to get this blue. This grub's in a minute 28, and I want to go for them. I'll have my ult back up for it. I won't have ghost, but... I think Talon's ult cooldown at a base level is lower than mine. It could be bad for me. I'm gonna ping him, let my team know what my intentions are. Nice, Garen, let's go, bro. That's my top laner, baby. Oh, they got drag, whatever, it's fine. They kind of have the bot lane prior for it, though, so it's like hard to avoid them getting it. Okay, after this camp, I actually have Leandry super fast. It would be good because I want to go for grubs after I get Leandry's here. I feel like jungle clear is like super easy. What happened? I didn't read all the patch notes, so I don't know what they did to the jungle, but it seems like an absolute joke to clear. Okay, I'm gonna get sweeper as well and head over towards these grubs. I pray that Talon ganks bottom so that I can just get a set of grubs. No matter what, we're not gonna get um, voidling spawns, but I really want to avoid them getting voidling spawns because they have two and I have one. But the fact that I have Leandry's man is kind of big, so. Also, I feel like another reason not go Roa is if I'm the jungler, then I'm not gonna have mana issues really, compared to to normal. This area does not appear to be warded. I can at least grab one. Oh, 
Nice. Whenever she dies, that's okay. We go three for three. He walked up and smited one, unfortunately. They're very low HP, so they're actually very easy to steal like that, but I wonder if I can kill that Darius. He must have warded. Oh, there it is. That's why he was walking at me. Wondering. But I'm actually not. Anyway. Walking towards you, Lori. Electrocute, no phase rush. I'm not getting her. Got her Nikes on, you know? Which says just FF. Gross. Typical AD carry main. Typical AD carry main. If they're not the main character, they're gonna cry about it. And there's at least one person writing a very angry comment right now because I said that. That's okay. You give me the engagement that I need. Why do you think I make fun of AD carry players so much? <laughs> they leave the most salty comments. Makes my life easier. No matter what, I win. <laughs> Alright, let's grab this. Rip my mid laner. At least grab this wave. There you go. I'm tempted to go with Tabby's here, but I feel like Swifties is better for me because I don't have any. Whoa. Interesting. That is over half my HP there. He's waiting in this bush, right? Just taking all my camps. Hate to see it, bro. Hate to see it, bro. No worries. Yaren's winning. I can't take the red buff yet because Talon's nearby. Hey, just wait. Wait till I have my unending despair, bro. I'm gonna cost some unending despair for you. I don't think we've had a tank item with that high of stats in a while. Like, Riot has kind of gimped tank items on purpose for a long time. Yeah, this guy's totally in here, right? Not. Let's see. Do we, oh no, there's a ward here. Can't gank the bot lane. Well, I mean, they see you, bro. <laughs> what are you doing? They fucking see you. What we can do though is maybe walk around. Nope, there's a pink ward in there as well, so we can't actually walk down there. Ooh, we're in danger. Yikes. Well, my Garen got top dirt, which is good. Swifties. I'm gonna build straight into unending despair. Yeah, the Ori is a bit of a problem, but that's okay. I can go more tank items later as well if I need to. I don't think I'll need to. I feel like I should be focusing top lane more, but it's so hard because bot mid are kind of hemorrhaging. Although, if they go for this drag, I'm gonna go for this Herald play. Yeah, yeah. Talon's why I'm going for Herald. Garen can help me, for sure. Let's go, bro. Get this. So I feel like they're gonna have to end up nerfing the movement speed on Yomu's. The item seems very strong. They have Smite up for this. If you could not take my Herald, that would be fantastic, but whatever. I can't stop you, I guess. Gank the top laner once. They feel so entitled to everything, right? Right, guys? Take my head. <laughs> and who else hates top laners, bro? I'm not gonna make fun of 80 carries anymore. Now I'm only gonna make fun of top laners for the rest of this game. I'm gonna make Garen's on a gank eventually too. Like the, the issue with him taking Herald is I needed it to like help my mid laner. That's the problem. Plus, like he gets the recall buff anyways for helping kill it, so I don't know why he even takes it. Very weird. But whatever. 
You can Herald on tier 2 here, I suppose. Okay, I think my Raptors are gone here, unfortunately, again. I'm going to clear this. Yeah, you got top tier, too. That's huge. All right, walking down. <laughs> I didn't live, but I did kill Thresh, so that's good. Wait, Twitch? Is he a gamer? My man's a bit of a gamer. Nice. Okay. So, Talon did 1,400 physical damage with a tiny sliver of tree damage to me there, so... Yeah, having Unanita Despair to actually start healing off that will be really good. Plus, Unanita Despair also gives you a Conqueror stack as well. And so that Conqueror stack will be juicy to help get that stacked up faster, because I have no Ignite, and I don't have Rocket Belt. Um, so, I don't have those two ways to stack it faster, so Unanita Despair giving me a Conqueror stack will be very, very nice. And three stack in Genius, I need 655 gold for that. We'll get there, we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh. It's stun. Is it is it enough? I don't know. I don't think he can kill her though. I'm gonna be real. Yeah, he can't. He ghosted for it, so. Man, yeah, the jungle is like actually just a joke to clear. Even before Headly Andrews, this is like so easy. Hoping Amelia would throw a ball there. That's okay. Dragon minute 56. It is Cloud Soul, so I'm not super concerned if they get it. It'll be nice to avoid them having it, obviously, but. Oh, this top crab. Yeah, I'm like nuking these camps even before I had Leandries, but still. What? Where did it go? It's just gone. Garen's getting ganked. To walk over here and help him if he can live long enough. That's if he can live long enough. He is he's getting ganked by everybody up there. Holy shit. Sees me. Oh, I'll walk up there. If I can avoid it. Plus they have the goon squad right there, so it's not worth it. Pretty sure Thresh just warded in that bush. Uh this bush right here. I have gold for running to after I recall, so I'm gonna buy that. Then I wanna go drag as I have ghosts for this, and we're gonna fight over this. Okay, let's go. This is the spike I've been waiting for, boys. Let's go! Super 3 health. Uh, I would have a lot more HP if I had Roa, but I also wouldn't have armor yet. So, I'm 141 armor before my ult. So add 65 to that. I want to go for this, but I also don't want to like just walk up randomly. Because Talon's right there is a lie. I can't run at him, he just jumps the wall. Ooh, ooh. Hello, Thresh. Yeah, he's jumping away already. But I think I just killed him? Holy shit, dude. I'm a bit of a maniac. Look at that onion despair ticking. Look at that thing ticking. Look at it ticking, bruh. Look at these ticks. Drag. 585 healing? What already? Just in that one fight, bro. Are you joking? Uh, question mark? Dude, look how fast the dragon dies too. Like, there's no way this is like meant to be this easy to clear, right? 
This is actually hilarious, Lee's at a clear camps. Be careful taking this. They know I'm here. Actually, I can't take this guy to leave. That uh, Darius is gonna walk up and smite me. This giant Noxian, you know what? Need vision on the uh. Oh, hello, Darius. Is he in ghosted on you? Can't get them. My fling also just didn't cast for some reason there, so. I'm not entirely sure what that was about. I mean, they could be on Varen. That's... We don't have any vision of it. Rush is severely out of place. I'm coming, brother. Really don't want to ult for that guy. He's, like, not a great ult to take. But she's done, boys. But she's done. I have a blue smite as well if I want to try and grab one of these guys. They're just not afraid of y'all, though. <laughs> oh, 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 can you get me? <laughs> I'm a little hard to kill. I really don't want to do Dragon while Talon's alive, if I'm going to be honest. That guy's been outsmiting me all game. 888 on any to spare healing. If I have Emilio, too, I just realized that's going to be nuts. I messed up. I think Talon dies, though. Yeah. Just dies to poison. Nice. Alright, we're gonna go Rift Maker next. Get some more healing action going. That'll be crazy with these two items together. Also, I didn't get a, a tick. Uh, so, what, what can. One of the downsides of noticing is, like, you can get hit with damage in between your cooldown of Unending Despair before you can heal. Which is why Ingenious Hunter is so important, so you can have as many ticks of that as you can. They're buffing that champion, by the way. I just want you guys to know that. He probably needs it, though, to be fair. Aaron is like 47%. He's not very good. But he's out, though. Probably his W. Oh, but it's Jover, dude. It's Jover. I'm coming up, too. I'm coming up, too, bro. Man's entitled to my camps, it's okay. I do need vision on this though, they can do it really fast at any time. Well, maybe not Neela, but. I guess with Neela being dead, bro, if you're gonna fight me over this camp, you better be ready to all in. This Talon's had his eye on my Raptors for <laughs> like the whole game. Yeah, even with, like, a tank item, I feel like these these camps are just, like... I guess they had to have changed it, because I don't think it's Leander's damage. I was murdering these camps so fast before I even finished it. Absolutely wild. I need to go back and read all the patch notes. I'm such a, like... Dude, I used to be, like, back in the day when I, when I was, like, a younger person playing League. I would read every line of every patch note. Now I'm just like, eh, here, there's the... Yeah, they changed it. Let's go. <laughs> I'm such a lazy gamer in my age. So the layout of the bushes with the um, Chemtech Rift is, or sorry, the uh, the Air Rift is quite nice. We're running around the map very quickly. Nice. I want to get mid turret here. Cannon. Ah, you guys aren't killing her. I don't have enough gold for Rift Maker yet. Just take dirt here, I think. I'm not ghosting at that. I want Dragon. 
Got to be a bit nervous about the smite. Their Thresh is split pushing top though, so big big split push threat on the on the top lane, boys. I have Rift Maker up. I would like to go by that, and I should tech. I, I guess not technically. I should theoretically be unkillable. We'll see though. We'll see. We got that huge, massive split push start up here. What is he? I would report this guy for doing that. In fact, I am going to report him. What are you doing, bro? You deserve a two-week for that. All right, all right, Sandra. I won't take it. You've been crying the whole game. That's all you, bro. I just want to fight. I just want to find someone to fight. Come here. Come here, rat. Maybe I'm afraid of you. Alan, fight me. Dude, he's so scared of me. Oh my god. Okay, I guess we baron off that. Let's go. Helps when they just murder him. So where did Neela go? I don't see Neela. So the, the normal camps seem weaker, but Baron seems like way stronger. This thing is kicking my ass. Worry ball. Pop my R here. I'm not super afraid, but let's see. I missed my smite. Holy shit. I smited the fucking Thresh, dude. That's my bad. Can maybe catch her, I ghosted. Come here, rat. Revenge. That's absolutely my fault. My cursor was in the wrong spot. I mean, a bad player. I have no one to blame except myself. I want to fight this Talon, but he's just not interested in like looking at me even. Is she in here? Neela, I saw you up here. Nope. 1,025? I need to spare. My bad, that one though. Clear camps, clear wards. I think there's a way to like, not click on champions whenever you're smiting Baron. Like, you have to like, hold your mouse like, over here or something. And it like, automatically puts your cursor, like, considered your cursor on Baron or something. Painter did last season at some point to stop that from happening, but I messed up, so yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Let's so Rylines, I can go Dead Man's. Then grab the giant belt here. This is I thought Darius countered Garen, not at all. Phase rush, how can he kill you? I hear you. <laughs> I like the Neela's response. Turn your brain off like usual. Wanna go up mid? I can go up mid. I guess Thresh is just chilling in the side lane. The Neela is level 15, so she's she's playing the game. I just don't see her. I don't know if we can push against Ori. Without a Baron buff for ourselves. Bye bye. I can't use such a fucking rat champion, man. <laughs> Talon is just rat the champion. If the Darius flanks me, I don't think he can kill me, so I'm really not worried about him at all. Plus, I have Garen in top lane 1v2 by himself. Can I flank the Ori, though? Can I flank the Ori, though? Can I flank the Ori, though? Nope, not with Darius there. Oh, shit. I am definitely a little hard to kill, though. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. But she pulls me in where I'm the most lethal. <laughs> oh, it's my healing. 1676 on Unanimous. Holy shit, dude. That thing does heal a lot. I got 800 healing again that fight. Oh, whoops. Well, Talon, you gotta go deal with Garen, bro. He's ending the game. Yeah, you, you gotta go help him out. What are you doing? Oh, GG. <laughs> yeah, that is actually pretty ridiculous. I think it was the right call for Singe to skip out. Um, 
for for me playing Singed to skip on getting the what you call it Rod of Ages. I don't. I just don't. I feel like you you would spike too late with Rod of Ages. I don't know. Because like with Sin with, with like so the the people who were originally showing this build were like mage players, right? Like Lux players, Singer players, Ori players, things like that. Who are like, oh, we're being one shot too much. Uh, let's build these tanky items, haha. -ha. Um, and so like their their idea was basically if they do that, then they can't get killed instantly. With singed, you you kind of need Leandries to like scale your damage. If you don't have Leandries, your damage doesn't really like, scale. Uh, so I feel like skipping Rowan, going Leandries instead, probably the right call for him. Maybe I try this out with the Roa variant. Who knows? Uh, that being said, 20.7k damage. What was my score, actually? 5, 4, and 9. And then my healing. Healing done. Oh, wait a second. I had 21k healing. Holy. That actually, it's a lot of healing. Okay. Well, that being said, guys, thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I was slouched like this the entire video, so hopefully that was not too distracting. But thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. Uh, I my eyes are really baggy and bloodshot because I'm very tired on a super long day. But uh, the third time, thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace, guys. Happy season 14. It's been fucking awesome so far. I've been enjoying season 14 a lot. Mwah. Even with the singe nerf.